The name Atuguba became a household name in Ghana following the 2013 presidential election petition. For those in the legal fraternity, and probably for media practitioners, the name has been a household name for decades prior to the election petition in 2013. He has been one of the longest serving members of the Supreme Court of Ghana. He was a judge for 44 years and a Supreme Court judge from 1995 to 2018, a total of almost 23 years. The topic of the Advent Lectures, as you know, is fifth in public service. Luckily for me, the concept note which accompanied my invitation uh, gave me the impression that it was not something to be steeped in deep learning, but uh, something of practical experience of uh, a Christian who has found himself in the public service. And that's how I propose to treat this matter. First of all, uh, when we talk of faith, uh, what do we mean? There are so many expositions of it. But uh, my working and crude um, concept of it is, first of all, faith means belief in the existence of God. But if you don't have belief in God, then uh, the question of faith doesn't arise in relation to you. The uh, second thing is awareness that you must obey him and no other authority in all circumstances that relate to his will. Uh, the, the third one is to believe that he sees and knows all that you are thinking of and doing at any time at all. And so, as the scriptures say, what is done in secret will be proclaimed in the open uh, at the judgment. So God knows everything we think and do. And so if we have this awareness, whether you are in public service, you are in the privacy of your home, or anywhere else, uh, fear of God and your duties towards him uh, will guide you and keep you away from uh, the many things we do wrong every day and enjoy doing them. Now happily, uh, when I was in primary school, primary three or so, I was in a secular primary school, but we had catches coming to teach us catechism. And I was so enthused by the prayers and the teachings that I went and told my father, my late father, that I would like to be a priest. And uh, he summoned me before the frontage of the house together with his uh, long-standing friend and warned me strictly never to think of that matter again. And his reason was simple, that as for priests, they don't marry. So if he were not to marry, where would I have been? Uh, so <laughs> I should never uh, countenance such a notion again. However, God being so good, I found myself in Notre Dame Secondary School that is Notre Dame Seminary Secondary School. And you know such institutions. The religious content is very high. We had rosary prayers, we had masses, we had uh, script, uh, uh, spiritual teachings, and the uh, retreats and so forth. And I ascribe whatever has happened in my life that people may see something uh, to talk about, not in uh, uh, demeaning terms, 
springs from that Notre Dame background. And so, from there, uh, the, the basic fear of God, the love of his ways, was inculcated uh, to us. Now, after uh, my call to the bar in 74, a national service, I went and started private practice in the Upper East Region, Bolgatanga. I was there for close to 21 years, doing various things, uh, until the call came to me to serve on the Supreme Court 